what's up YouTube, Salvoji here, and welcome back to another heart reaction video. So we're gonna get back to some heart here, and the song is gonna be These Dreams. This is a VIP Patreon request via Javier and Marianne. So thank you guys so much for the courteous support, the continued support, it's greatly appreciated. And also, YouTube, thanks for hanging out with us and listening to this song. So uh, let's take a look at this really quick before we open up the video, you guys. This is from the 1985 self-titled 8th studio album, Heart. Uh, released January 18th, 1986 as the album's third single. And it became the, it became the band's first song to top the Billboard Hot 100. Really? What? Really, what? It took... It took the 8th studio album before they landed a song in the Hot 100? Oh, no, wait, to top the Billboard Hot 100. Okay, sorry, so it reached number one, correct? Yeah, right here. Okay, so it reached number one on the Hot 100. Number one for adult contemporary. Number two in the mainstream rock. Number one in the cash box Top 100. And number one in Canada for adult contemporary. Holy smokes, okay. This is a soft rock, so I think uh, Javier mentioned, mentioned it was a ballad here. Let's see. The singles, B track, B side track, Shell Shock. Okay. Gotcha. Singer songwriter Martin Page co wrote the other successful songs, including We Built the City and King of Wishful Thinking. Let's see. Oh, listen to this. The song was offered to Stevie Nicks, who expressed no interest in recording it. And here comes Hart. Sure, we'll take it. AKA number one song incoming. <laughs> the track is a power ballad with more of a polished sound in comparison to Hart's previous work and was the band's first single on which Nancy Wilson performed lead vocals instead of Ann Wilson. Oh, wow. Really? When it time, when it, well, wow. When it came time for, for Wilson to record her vocals, she was suffering from a cold and sounded somewhat raspy and gravelly. That can be good. After the song reached commercial success, producers reportedly wanted Wilson to recreate the vocal style on future songs, asking her, can't you just get sick again? <laughs> all right, let's give this a listen. I'm really excited now hearing all this. That's so cool. Let's lower the screen. All right, it's a video, you guys, so. All right, sit back, relax, and enjoy. Here we go. That's pretty trippy. second i really like that <laughs> wait wait These dreams go on when I close my eyes. Have a second, get the night. there's the raspiness Oh my gosh, I love this. Hey, 
that's really good. <laughs> Wait a second, I really like this. Really quickly, are those Anne's background vocals? I can't really tell because they're they're um what's the word I'm looking for? Neutral tone it almost sounds similar in a sense. So I can't really tell if it's Anne or Nancy actually uh, in the in the in the backup vocals. I'm assuming it's it's Anne because they do pan to her every time she she comes in. But you never know. It might just be that she's lip syncing, uh, lip singing. So I'm not I'm not exactly sure. Uh, I gotta, yeah, let's just finish the video. Wait a second, I really like this. Hold on, whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> Can't be pulling a switcheroo on me now. <laughs> Nancy, all right, you can tell she doesn't have as much range. And that might be because she's sick when she's recording this. But golly, she has a beautiful voice actually. It's nice and smooth, very warm, even though it's a little raspy, it's still very bright. And it's just very uh, crisp. It was raspy, crisp, warm sounding. Just, oh, it was so pleasant. The melody is very catchy. Um, outside, man, it was just so nice. I want to hear it one more time, just like the um, the chorus. I live How do you not like this? Uh, oh, it's so catchy. Yeah, they, they created a... That's the number one. Yeah, that's the number one, without a doubt. I mean, I wasn't even around when this came out, and I can tell. If you didn't tell me that this was number one, I would have guessed. It was probably huge. You can just tell. Like, some of the songs, they just... They separate themselves. And you, you can tell. I mean, that's... It was just obvious. 342,000 likes. Oh my gosh. 64 mil views. Yeah, that was incredible. I really liked it. Nancy can sing as well. Like, her voice isn't as huge as Anne. She doesn't... Uh, she wasn't able to, like, draw out the notes that you hear from Anne as large and loudly as she, she can. But like I said, maybe it wasn't her best showing because she was feeling sick. Either way, it worked. <laughs> Obviously. So, 
I actually seriously enjoyed that quite a bit. That might be up there for me. Maybe it was just the chorus that had me just coming back for more. So catchy, so inviting, easy to sing along. See, I'm going to be humming it. It is just very... Jeez. You guys, does anybody else enjoy this as much as I? Because I feel like I might be overreacting here, but I really liked it. Hmm. The 80s were a decade. It was a magical realm. There you go. The song is magical. You know what? That's a good word. It does sound magical. Maybe maybe that's why I'm being mystified right now. <laughs> yeah. Super good. I'm going to listen to it again, actually. The only reason why I replayed it only once is because I don't want to draw the video out for too long. But as soon as I end this, I'm going right back. <laughs> Let me know what you guys think about this one down below. This was the, the These Dreams by Heart featuring Nancy as the lead vocalist. And, you know, are there any other songs? Are there any other Nancy songs? I think we need more. <laughs> Don't get me wrong, Anne is brilliant, but you know what? Nancy's got it too, so that was awesome. <laughs> Leave a like on the video, you guys, that helps out my channel, and subscribe if you haven't yet. This was super fun. I hope you guys enjoyed. I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.